Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool 3D car interaction in animation with Spline. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in a new Spline project. So for this one, I'm not going to build the car from scratch in Spline. But instead, I'm going to import the external 3D files uh, so that we can just focus on the look and feel and the materials and the lightings. Um, so now I'm going to click on these menus and select import. So in this photo, I had two 3D file in the FBX format, uh, one for the body and one for the wheels of the car. So all of these files are available on my Patreon. So if you'd like to get access to this and download and try it out, you can follow the link under the description below to become my Patreon and get access to all of the uh, cool stuff that I got here. Um, all right, so get back to this. So now I'm going to select this body first uh, to see what's gonna happen. So we have this 3D model here. So this is a body of a car. So the reason why that we need to separate the body to the wheels is that we need to animate the wheels later. Um, so uh, for now, we just focus on the body. So if you select on this groove, you can see that uh, there's, there's a lot of separated component of a car is here. So you can turn it on and off to see uh, which one of these layer is the part of the cars. And if you select any of these layer, and then you see on the right panels, um, we have like the materials and all of the other properties. And if you look at this drop down menu over here, uh, so this indicate the numbers of materials of this particular component of a car. So if, if you drop it down, you can see that uh, you can toggle between different materials. So we have total, total like seven material in this components so you can toggle between different materials and uh, work on it for example here i'm going to select the free and then i'm going to change the color so you can see that the rim of the windows on the side is changing color as well so you know that this material is being applied to the window rim so if you click on number one you can see that material one is the car paint so that's what we're going to start with so now we're going to change the colors of the car paint to uh, really dark black like this and then let's add another layer to this material by clicking on this plus button and for this layer I'm going to switch from color to matte cap uh, so basically this one is a kind of shading um, simulation it's gonna give you this shiny uh, really cool shiny finish uh, of the materials and if you click here, you can see that there are some more options down here. So you can select as, as any of these to see how it's going to look like in the 3D models. Uh, but for this one, I'm going to select the last one. So it seems like it's looking pretty cool uh, with um, this kind of shiny and dark and black finish. So you can also like uh, go here and reduce the intensities. So I'm going to reduce it to 20s. Um, so it feels more mass and feel less um, intense uh, so maybe maybe bump it up to 30s uh, would be better um, so yeah uh, i think this is looking pretty good so now i'm going to save this material uh, so that we can apply it to other part of the car so let's click on this button to open the material panels and from here we can click on this blood buttons and create a new material so for this one i'm going to name it body paint uh, so next we're going to go through the rest of the components and adjust the materials so all we have to do is to go through these drop down menus and select the materials and change the colors So for the part that we need to reuse the same material as the body, all we have to do is click on this menu and apply the material that we have to save before so that we can save a ton of time. So now I'm going to uh, adjust the material on the windshield. So for this one, we're going to go with pure black and we don't need uh, a uh, matte cap layer for this. Uh, so just keep it simple like this. And for the second materials, uh, so I think this one is the glass part of the headlight. 
um, so I think we don't need it so I'm going to turn off this layer uh, so we can uh, focus on the other material so for the material number three uh, so let's adjust the color to see what it is so I believe it's the headline material but there's something funky is going on here so the reason why is that it's currently just showing the back face of the object so it's really simple to fix this all you have to do is go to the right panels uh, and scroll down to the visibility section and on this uh, sizes um, category just select both and now you see that the rest of the, the, the polygon is uh, visible now uh, so now we can carry on and uh, work on the rest of the headline materials so basically just change everything into white and we don't need anything too fancy here so now we're going to apply the same process for the rest of the car Alright, so we have the body of the car is looking pretty good here. So next step, we're going to work on the wheel. So I'm going to import the other FBX file. So you can see that we have this uh, single wheel 3D models here. Uh, so we only need to work on one and then duplicate it to the other three later. So first thing first, I'm going to drag this out of the group and remove the group objects so we can have this uh, very nice uh, layer here with the anchor point that's really center to the free object so we can just rotate it with no issue um, so we're going to move it and move it closer to the body and adjust the size so it's, it's fit to the car all right so now we can just apply the same material process that we did for the body to this wheel So once you're done with the single wheel, you can duplicate it and move it to the back and also to the other side. So one thing I noticed is that there's some kind of a missing part of the back lines. So we can just easily fix it by just uh, adding like a single cube here. Um, so I'm going to create a cube and just move it to this position and just fill it with black material so uh, we can have a closer look of what the actual black light of the Dodge Challenger look like alright so next step I'm going to create a platform so let's click here and create a rectangle and click anywhere and we can scale it much much bigger um, kind of like this and move it down a little bit so you can change the color of the rectangle to be much darker like this and you can also click anywhere on the background to change the color of the environment so I'm going to uh, make the environment much darker and also adjust the color of the rectangle to be uh, kind of like this so uh, let's let's use this um, setup for now and then we're going to move on to uh, set up the lighting so by default we have this uh, directional light which is looking pretty good already uh, so you can play around with this slide that's so moving a little bit to the size and you can also adjust the shadow part of it by just increasing the low effect here all right so for the next step i'm going to add some light to these headlights so let's create a spotlight so we have a spotlight uh, shows up here so i'm going to bring it to the right position in front of the car and then we can also adjust the intensity as well as the blurriness of the light. So once we're done with one light, we can duplicate it into another one. So we have the two spotlight casting on the platform here. Uh, but this kind of missing uh, a little bit of a glow effect uh, all over the, the actual light. So I'm going to uh, create a point light. And let's move it in front uh, of the car headlights so now you see that this creates some kind of a glowing effect and make it uh, way more realistic um, so we can move it even closer to the headlight and also adjust uh, some of the properties here like intensities and distance And once you're done with it, you can duplicate it and move it to the other side as well. 
and then you're going to do the same for the backlight so I'm going to create another point light here and move it up a little bit and then for this light I'm going to select uh, red colors and we can also adjust the properties of the lights so it look less intense And then again, uh, after you're done, you can uh, duplicate it into the second one and move it to the other side. Okay, so now we can click on this button to preview it. Uh, so everything is looking pretty badass, like uh, the lighting is working, it's the material is working. So now let's move on to the interaction and animation. Alright, so first thing, I'm going to make this wheel spinning around as the car is moving. So I'm going to select the wheels and go to this state tab up here. And click here to add another state. So we have two state here, the base state and the second state uh, down here. So with the second state selected, I'm going to adjust the rotation value of the wheel. So I'm going to add 360 degree more so it's going to uh, rotate one full um, circle so we have these two stay here with two different rotation values so let's create a new event so for this one I'm going to select start and for the actions let's select transition and make sure that the transition will start from the base state to the second state and make sure that there's no easing for this one just select uh, linear and for the durations maybe let's try with 0 0.3 um, so okay so let's preview it so now you see that it's uh, rotating but it's only happened once so uh, and it's, it's a little bit fast so I'm going to increase the duration to 0 0.6 and then for the loop let's select infinite and now we see that the wheel is spinning constantly. And then let's apply the same process to the other wheels. All right, so we have the four wheels is spinning uh, like this. Um, so looking pretty good. So the only thing left to do is to animate the platform. So we can have is uh, really feels like it's moving on the road. So for the platform, we need to loop video of the rows moving uh, vertically uh, like this so I have this shape back here of the rows so I'm going to use After Effects to create the loop animations so here we are in my After Effects and I'm going to create a new comp with this uh, row shape back here and I'm going to uh, effects and apply this motion tire effect to this layer and with this motion tie effect, we can adjust this vertical value and you see that it create a loop animations of the row. So let's trim the work area to 10 seconds only uh, so that we can have a nice and short uh, loop animation. And let's drop it down here to the tire center values. And on the first frame, we're going to uh, add a keyframe at a value of 20,000. And for the last frames, uh, I'm going to change the value to zero. And then you see that uh, when you preview the animation, you see that this creates this really nice uh, looking animation of the moving rows. So I think we pretty much got it. So now let's uh, render into this, render this one into an MP4, and we're going to go back to Spline and load the MP4 to the material. All right, so here we are back in Spline. So I'm going to select the platform and in the materials, let's create another layer and switch this layer to video. So by default, we have this cat uh, default video here, but we don't need a cat here. So let's click on this button to load this row animation that we just did. Okay, so now we have this uh, MP4 that is being loaded to the material here, but we need to uh, rotate it uh, to the right uh, orientation. So let's just uh, adjust this one and then we got something like this. And then make sure that we're driving 
in the middle of the lane um, to make sure that we're not going to have any legal problems okay so next uh, let's switch this blending mode of the video layer to overlay and now it's being blended to the material underneath which is uh, the, the black layer here okay so let's click on this play button to uh, preview it uh, so we have a uh, pretty good animation of a car uh, but uh, we need to make it blend it more to the environment because we still see the rectangle and the platform uh, so let's go back and I'm going to add another layers and for this layers let's select uh, gradient so we have this nice uh, gradient here and click on this thumbnails and switch this to radio and for the colors I'm going to um, go back to the environments and copy this uh, color of the background and paste this here to make sure that it's 100% match up to the background colors and then let's reduce the middle point opacity to zero uh, so we can see the, the rows uh, it's more visible so now we see that we have a really nice uh, vignette uh, effects uh, on the platform so it's totally blending to the uh, background environment Okay, so uh, next step, I'm going to um, add another camera uh, and by default we have this kind of camera angle but um, I wanted to change it to perspective so it looks more dramatic uh, like this. Like this. Alright, so this is looking pretty good so I'm quite happy with this so I'm going to export it to a public URL to share with everyone uh, so you, you can go to the place setting and maybe turn off this pan and the zoom uh, settings uh, because I don't want it uh, to zoom too close to the car um, and let's click preview to see how it looks like so now you can like turn it around the car uh, but it's kind of weird to uh, see the bottom of the car like this so I'm going to go back and turn on this orbit limit option and then from this drop down I'm going to select uh, horizontal and you can also like uh, set the angle limit but I'm going to leave it here for now uh, okay let's play so now you can move the car horizontally uh, with limited angle uh, like this alright so that's the process of making this really cool 3d car interaction and animation with Spline so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, make sure to check out my patreon to get access to all of these source files all of these project files and all the cool stuff so I will see you in the next video